All right, I've taken the uh, single sideband unit off, and you can see the uh, radio now. Uh, this is the uh, sealed phase lock loop. And it looks as though the seal's been broken. <laughs> so, uh, somebody's been into it before. That's never a good thing. Um, but the way that phase lock loops work is there's a voltage controlled oscillator. And the output of that voltage controlled oscillator is the master, is what, you're, is what you want, okay? So if you're trying to generate 144 megahertz, then your then your VCO should be at 144 megahertz. Now you you take a little bit of that frequency. So this is the VCO over here. Okay, it's in this can. So you take this the output of this VCO and you run it into the phase lock loop and it and it compares and it does some divisions and multiplications and stuff and, and, and tries to figure out what it wants. But basically, this box controls this box. Okay, that's what you need to know. This box outputs a voltage that controls this box. So this box is a voltage controlled oscillator. So this controls the voltage, okay? And so this wire here is the voltage that comes out of here. And this voltage here is actually the VCO. It's actually the output. So this is the, the 144 megahertz or whatever comes out here. And then this is power for the, uh, for the VCO. That's all it takes. It takes power, uh, a control voltage, and then it outputs. That's, that's all this box does. And then this box does all, all the fancy stuff, okay? So, um... Let me turn it, um, well, let's see. I, I've done a little bit of work off camera. Okay, so what I noticed was there was no VCO, that, that there, there, there was nothing coming out of the VCO. And I, I didn't understand why. Um, uh, I used my, uh, uh, spectrum analyzer with a near field probe and I put the near field probe right here on this output here and I didn't see anything okay there was nothing there and I said well, well that's not good <laughs> and then uh, and then I used a voltmeter to measure this voltage here which is the, the uh, voltage that the VCO operates at now the VCO uh, let's see if I can find a schematic for the VCO yeah here here we go sorry these schematics are kind of tiny can I zoom in yeah I think you can read that so this little dashed line here is the VCO unit, and this little block here is the phase lock loop unit. The phase lock loop unit is a complete schematic, is a complete two-page schematic, okay? Um, but you can see that um, here is the, the VCO output. It comes back. There is a control voltage called FIL, frequency I, I don't know. Anyway, the, the, there's, there's, there's ground and there's the control voltage and then there's the output and then it says there's a plus nine volts so this runs off of nine volts okay so um when i came over here with the voltmeter the, there's no nine volts here the, the the nine volts is missing okay now where does that nine volts come from well that nine volts comes from you guessed it the phase lock loop unit <laughs> so um in the phase lock loop unit there's 13.8 volts that comes into the whole radio, and it goes through this three-terminal regulator, which is a 78L08. So you get eight volts on the output, and that powers some things down here. All right. And um, it also ends up being the nine volts. So the nine volts comes out over here, oops, comes out over here, but it goes through this transistor. So what does this transistor do? Well, nothing. <laughs> It, it's always biased on, and it's just a buffer. So for whatever reason, they decided they wanted to buffer this voltage. So this is just an emitter follower with eight volts coming in the, into the base in the collector. So eight volts in, you're only gonna get, you know, seven and a half volts out. Um, and then they call it nine volts. So I don't quite understand why they're doing what they're doing. All I can figure out is maybe they figured out that nine volts was just too much and they needed to drop it a little bit. They could have just used a diode. But um, I, f I, you know, I really don't know. Maybe there was um, some feedback. Maybe this VCO ended up getting the nine, the, the eight volts dirty or something and they, they buffered it with this, uh, 
with this transistor. I don't know. Anyway, I suspect that either this transistor is bad or this voltage regulator is bad because I'm not getting nine volts out. I just not. Okay. And so I decided to test that. So that's what we're going to do right now. I've got uh, eight and a half volts right here. Okay. And I'm going to put eight. Uh, so this, there's no power at all on the radio. Okay. I'm just going to power up the VCO all by itself. Okay. So I've got, um, uh, this connected and I've got a spectrum analyzer. Uh, let's get these schematics out of the way. I got it. I got a spectrum analyzer here that's spanning up to uh, 300 megahertz because uh, we should see something around 144 megahertz. And I've got my near field probe. Okay. So I'm going to take my near field probe and I'm going to stick it about here, uh, right, right by its output. And I've got plus nine and I haven't hooked up the ground yet. Okay. So let's go over here to the spectrum analyzer and see when I hook up the ground. There we go. We're getting a, uh, uh, we're getting a, uh, signal. Oh, uh, you know, I had it backwards. Um, the, uh, Stronger signal comes off of this connector. So this must be the control voltage and this must be the output over here. So I will put my, I will put my probe about right over here. All right. And there we go. We're getting a healthier, getting a healthier signal over here and we can do a peak search and we're at great. We are at 139.5 megahertz. And let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And we'll get a better frequency reading now. 140.140. So this should be pretty accurate if we, uh, let's see, we can frequency span. Let's see here, marker functions. Marker. There is a counter in here. Where's the counter? Let's see here. Major. Oh, here we go. Marker counter. Turn it on right here. Marker counter. And we'll do a uh, marker track. So it's always keeping track of the peak. So we're at 140.1672. So it's bouncing around between one and five. Uh, but anyway, so there we go. Uh, so we found at least one thing that's broken. The voltage is not getting to the VCO. Um, so I guess I need to crack open the, uh, the magic phase lock loop section and try to figure out whether it's that transistor or the, the eight volts. Um, I'm a little bit scared to do this, but I guess I have to do it. Um, yeah, we're getting about minus 43 dBm. Signal out of thing with the little coupler here. Okay. Um, yeah, so scary, scary. I guess we'll go inside and uh, see what there is to see. All right, so I've opened it up and uh, took the top off so you can see inside. That's the magic chip over there that you don't want to touch. <laughs> that moss chip over there. So let's hope it's still good. Um, I have poked around a little bit here. Uh, let me get something to point with. Uh, yeah, this is the magic chip. Um, so there's that eight volt regulator that happens to be right here. And uh, it is a 78L08. Uh, so we want to measure, see if it's giving, giving out eight volts. And then the uh, transistor that's just the pass transistor, I believe is buried over here. Okay. And so uh, I'm going to take some, sorry, this is off camera, but I'm going to hook ground here. I'm going to measure the output of the voltage regulator here. And let's see, I need to have ground on my, all right. So the device is powered up. All right. So I'm going to measure the output pin and it is 
8.3 volts, perfect. So, that transistor is bad over there. Um, yeah.